The modified Grice test is carried out as follows. One, confirm nitrate sensitivity of test paper. Using a nitrate test swab saturated with 15% acetic acid solution, dab the corners of the test paper. Each corner should turn orange, confirming the sensitivity of the paper to nitrate compounds. Two, mark reference points of evidence on test paper. Place the evidence face down on the emulsion-coated side of the test paper. Using a pencil, index any seams, buttonholes, buttons, rips, pockets, suspected bullet holes, tears, cuts, etc. for reference. Do not use ink because it may transfer back onto the evidence item. 3. Create layers of reaction items. Soak an unused piece of cheesecloth in the acetic acid solution. Bring excess solution from the cheesecloth and spread it on top of the evidence already placed on the photographic paper, completing the three-layer sandwich. 4. Heat reaction layers. Press the layers with a hot, uncontaminated iron. Acetic acid steam is forced through the layers, causing the colored producing reaction. 5. Examine and interpret the results. Discard the cheesecloth and separate the evidence item from the test paper. Any orange indications on the paper are a result of the chromophoric reaction chemically specific for the presence of nitrite residues. Note, it is possible that a spurious source of nitrite residues, not firearms related, could be present. These are typically visualized as an orange haze. It is unlikely that such residues would alter the interpretation of the point reactions around a suspected bullet hole. Occasionally, background reactions can be observed on clothing items made from blue denim and from garments washed using certain detergents. Some disinfectants, as well as marijuana, can yield positive results. Six, label and retain test paper. Mark the previous pencil marks placed on the test paper in ink when the paper is dry. Label with additional data as called for by laboratory protocol.